After awakening, you might often heard about guiding your ascension. It's time for you to ascend. To master ascending, you need to master grounding. So, you might often heard about ascension or ascend itself, but you might didn't fully aware about what ascension really is because it's kind of like something that is so spiritual or something that connected with vibration but what exactly ascension is and have you experienced that what is the symptoms of ascension so in this episode let's dive deeper into all of that questions beautiful soul my name is Cindy Acho on this channel we share about consciousness vibration energy and all the beautiful things that guide your transcendence journey so you can authentically shine as the flow of universe today's episode we're going to dive deeper about what is ascension and the symptoms of ascension understanding the symptoms and ascension is important for you because if you don't know that the symptoms is about ascension you probably can labeling yourself with lazy crazy down strange anxiety depressed or something like that will bring you more down because the symptoms is so unusual especially if you highly aware of yourself keep paying attention towards every changes or every cycles in your life then if something different happen you will easily recognize that you can investigate it more and so you can find out what that is especially it's something that is more esoteric thing or happen beyond mind aspect so it's more about the spirit or spiritual aspect of you so when you ask to your daily person you might get an answer such like oh you might too sensitive it might just your feeling simply take a medicine and then take a rest or just keep pushing yourself you can do better than this you are not that weak push a little more and so on unless you aware about what is happening with you you will believe in what others who don't even know about themselves my experience about my second ascension started from 7th february 2022 i felt like something different within me i consider myself as the one who highly aware of myself because as long as i can i keep practice to be mindful or to be conscious about everything that connected with myself including what i consume what i read it what i experienced and i notice the details so when some change happen i easily notice that and if you've been following my experience lately you notice that i've shared about my shadow work because i felt something within me that feels like something wrong within me and then my higher self told me that oh i need to do another shadow work work that I even didn't realize until higher self told me so as you know that our evolution is getting deeper and deeper and also it works in spiral there is something that I need to work on within myself I kept following higher self whatever it is to do shadow work to go inward again and then internalize myself and ask what this emotion is trying to communicate with me because it felt like my heart was whispering to me that it's okay this is me and it's okay to feel this it's okay to experience this and it is a part of your journey and it's okay to not knowing about something including this situation you will know later so just feel that just experience that just embrace that let it come and go through you but at the same point i felt in my body like i could hear my heart beat fatigue exhausted like really felt like i've been working for so hard but in actuality i just did my life as usual and 
in my usual life I feel like I can be so passionate so flowy but at that point I felt like whoa there's something that is disconnected or something that is like holding me back for keep sharing my passion keep giving my best their energy kind of like shut my body down so I felt an urge to just rest relax and release like you deserve rest this is the moment for you to just relax and rest let the beyond do the rest but at the same time my mind also become so analytical like tremendous worrying like hard to be calm it's unusual and I kept questioning myself why this is unusual and what the universe is trying to communicate with me what the universe is trying to teach me through this feeling experience and I allow myself to be not knowing to not labeling myself to just embrace whatever that meant to flow through me because deeply inside I still believe that whatever happened through me is universe way so I can learn the lesson something that I need to cultivate so that I can share the wisdom the lesson to you through this channel at that first day I thought oh maybe my feminine energy wants to appear and then it's time for me to rest first so my divine feminine can be dominant rather than my divine masculine that keep forcing me to keep analyzing it to get clarity about what is going on exactly at that moment I felt like my mind is so full or so many questions it's unusual because I really appreciate flow state I always position my mind as the portal for the universe so as long as I can I always always freeing my mind so in the first day I allow myself to have rest and I decided to take a rest with intention that in the next day when I wake up I can be my usual self which full of passion full of joy full of natural state can be so flowy as usual in the second day still in the fatigue but then when I try to work I felt like another strange thing happened such as my vision get blurred I thought I added more minus on my lens you know it happened so suddenly I still allow myself to have rest because I thought oh maybe this process this emotion this purging need a lot more energy still in the third day fourth day fifth day and the next day until a week I also experienced ringing ears you know like in spirituality ringing ears it's a sign of spiritual downloads which your physical system just receive or just download something from the higher realms because we are just a living portal and one of the reason I give myself lots of rest because I felt so sleepy although I already overslept my sleep time is shifting I sleep in the morning and usually until in the next evening because I felt so sleepy and it's unusual the only thing that I know for sure is that I've experienced this shifting sleep timing when I was experiencing my first ascension which I've already shared in my previous video about ascension signs ascension symptoms and the next and next day I also noticed that I got I got more pimples again probably after a year without no pimple it's so strange like really strange like from the energetic level physical level mental level emotional level like I felt like this is so complete and complex I also googled these symptoms but I didn't find anything I meditate higher self didn't directly told me what's going on with me higher self just told relax you will know when you are ready to know and when you don't know what you are going through means we are giving you a chance for rest for the unknown moment for you because we know that the unknown is the best for your condition to not knowing about that so just relax because 
all the arrangement already set by the higher selves by the force that is greater than yourself i kept questioning lots of curiosity higher self simply answer you know what you really need at this point is to simply this tree to rest relax and release you even need to release all that you just googled I know that this is might something unusual but your mind is trying to labeling it because the mind can only be calm when it have something to assume or give opinion about something but at this point we know what best for you which is this three R since I heard that I kept that in my heart I become more focused on listening to my heart and just allow this three R B. So I really focus on that urge to purging myself. Although I felt like I overslept, but my body felt like it's working so hard. Also, I continuously getting vivid dreams showing me people that no longer search me and something within me told me that you experiencing them in your dream so that you aware that they still inside your head and through that dream you allow them to release so you are ready for another new things to enter really like a deeper kind of surrender and so much release going on although in previous stage i already did lots of this but this time it goes deeper kind of similar but also there's a difference at the same time i just look at it as a new challenge or something that i need to go through in order for me to level up not only my spiritual aspect but also with my physical aspect my mental aspect emotional i believe that all of this will getting better after i pass through this just enjoy that not knowing i also experienced lucid dream so i can be conscious about my dream i saw a flying train and i conscious while well, i'm experiencing that felt like i really alive at that dream world a new thing for me and it's so natural so i'm grateful for that some of my dreams also connected with something that i discovered in the next day so somehow my dreams at this period also is trying to communicate with me even louder than my conscious reality I felt like at the fatigue period my dream world it's more powerful than my physical reality i got synchronicities about what i dream about with with what i found in my real world and my soul is trying to show me something before that happened in my physical reality so dream world is actually a field that higher self use to input in your subconscious mind so once it really occurs in physical reality you feel like you knew it you knew it because you first saw it in your dream i knew it because i saw it in my dream so that my story and i'm still feeling this but lately it's getting better and better and i really want to share it with you because i felt this is so important i also felt there's something intense around my head something going on with my third eye and crown chakra like electromagnetical energy my eyes felt so tired so fatigued and like it's time to go to sleep again and again my body was telling me like that i knew there is something going on with me and maybe not only about me but maybe others 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 like empath light worker another open heart chakra also felt the same with me i felt like this is a part of collective when i meditate higher self showing me a portal to another realms to another density to another dimension as the door of multi-dimensional portal in dr strange marvel cinematic universe movie it's kind of like a round portal which i can see another reality inside of the portal and higher self asked me what do you see the galaxy and i wonder what that means the higher self just told me to keep watching to keep witnessing 
and then I patiently wait and I slowly saw there's a light from the portal that shine but it's not kind of like the sun light that I usually saw in my meditation before it's kind of like it's something that connected with galaxy system that light shines upon earth and then from that light I saw there's such like sentient beings that in form of white totally white from head to toe like when I tried to zoom in my vision into them I couldn't see them specifically because I felt like my vision get blurred to them so I just allow it I considered them as sentient beings no matter what it is I saw that they brought such a pot of water they are watering that to earth and I also saw the energy of feminine energy when earth presents that is experiencing such a dark night of the soul because i can see the expression through the expression and what i feel energetically from earth energy so i saw that and i felt that oh there's something going on with mother earth with our planet right now and i'm wondering what is that that they are trying to watering some of them are in contact with the government our government broadcasting the information as virus as pandemic but in actuality that happened because our government is trying to kind of like give us the bias about the truth of what is happening with mother earth which is the dark night of the soul this transition of energy consciousness shifting the ascension energy of mother earth through the liver this information as a virus or as pandemic so the civilization not projecting their fear onto mother earth and make this situation gets worse that's also because collective consciousness can believe something that is psychologically understood by our mind by our mental comprehension so that's why they give us information they also relate with our comprehension so we can accept that despite whatever it is negative positive or the effects the government did that for the highest good of all so yeah we should appreciate that as well but at the same time as you watch this you also notice that it's not only about the virus or the pandemic social economy system or whatever that we are going through in on earth at this legendary period also notice what's going on behind the virus behind the pandemic which is at the energetic level the energy of mother earth is transitioning ascending into a higher state of consciousness which is most of us said that we are transitioning from three dimension into five dimension as you know that before we are leveling up we need to go through something that including letting go releasing including do the shadow work do the inner work it's our responsibility individually to do to turn inward and do our shadow work the thing is not every people aware of this and people only accept something that they are ready to accept they are ready to comprehend so the best that we can do especially as a light worker as awakened soul as the higher beings they already awaken for this situation is to do our inner work first so that we can help others in short through that meditation i noticed that what is happening with me is a part of collective consciousness and i was called to do my inner work first to do my shadow work to do that purging internally because i was ready to comprehend this and with all the divine tools all the modalities that i have to shine to help rising the collective consciousness collectively higher self is trusting me for do my inner work so that i can inspire others so that i can give a real example of doing the inner work doing the shadow work doing the work needed in this collective 
events this is the real time for us to shine this is the point of our awakening we are awakening and ascending to higher consciousness for helping others for helping the collective consciousness our calling is to let this power let what we gained let what we already have what we already possess to be a powerful tool that can balance this collective consciousness so now i share my calling to all of you that is watching this right now to do your inner work to do your shadow work internally and keep questioning inside yourself either it financially mentally physically that is weighing you down that is lowering your vibration that is dimming your light fatigue depressed or whatever it is just allow that to be to come and go through you feel it notice if it, it is there it is in you and then just allow it with non-attachment because they are coming there to teach you something through passing through you it's okay to have a moment of revealing your truth it's okay just allow and embrace all of that as a part of yourself you have the integration of all the light till the darkness it's all you experiencing at the same time at the same time which is now in a parallel universe whoever you are whatever your capability your ability your talents your gifts your superpower i know that you have something that authentic light within you that you possess that you gain that you unfail from within it's it is there for a collective purpose and this is the best moment for you to unleash that for a better situation no matter your advanced level whether you're a physical healer whether you are shamanic psychedelics light worker gatekeepers light keepers way shower reiki master spiritual practitioner or whatever it is i know that you have something within you that you can share for the collective although we are separate in this physical dimension but our mind can connect it to one another it's our awareness that can connect it and reunite in the unseen world together we can feel because this is something that is unseen the only thing that we can experience is true feeling you know that we all experiencing a harder situation but at the same time you know that this is meant to happen for greater things to come now i'm going to share what is ascension it's your physical body that is transitioning into more light beings you know that we are our dna and dna is a manifestation of energy from physical until the quantum level what we can see is our physical from material aspect when we zoom out we find that we all have cells in our body and then when we keep zooming in into that and at the smaller part of each cell there are molecules and then inside the molecules there are atoms that made the molecules which when you keep zooming into an atom you can find subatomic particles and still inside that subatomic particles at the quantum level you will find it turns into vibrational or waves or you can call it wavelength as this channel like we usually talk about consciousness vibration energy you are that watching this has ready for the quantum level in order to activate your dna you need to be more aware about your dna about what you can show so many letting go releasing process the more you release what no longer serves you and the more you nourish yourself for what really serves your vibration the more you awaken or activate your dna the more you build or the strengthen your integration or your coherence between all of these aspects of yourself your physical is such molecular layer and atomic layer that we all can see through labs through science but at the non-physical or quantum level we can find electromagnetic layers and vibration layers it's something that it cannot see with our eyes because we are limited from a limited range 
but just because we can experience that through our senses doesn't mean it doesn't exist it even more powerful when you can notice until this quantum level in another words what's in this quantum level you can also call it light quotient as your DNA be more activated, your light quotient start produce more and more and the energy of your physical body is transitioning into a lighter version of energy. So your matter is transitioning into a light energy. This doesn't mean you will suddenly disappear when your DNA is full or your DNA is activated or your light quotient is already full you might still experiencing this as human but what's different happens inside energetically internally your energy inside you is transitioning from physical dimension into quantum dimension something requires more light that's why it called ascent which is you raise your vibration as you raise your vibration you become more light being so your body is no longer feel like this physical body it turns into light body what I mean by light body is you your energy is contains more light rather than negative energy or lower vibrational energy so you become the embodiment of the higher vibration it's a continuous journey just because we call it a sand doesn't mean it's a vertical or linear journey that we usually see in the picture the journey can be spiral but the vibration that we measure it can be seems similar but the process with behind it is actually spiral and imagine there are lots of cells lots of atoms it can be trillions billions in your body and just like what I've shared you will experience an extreme fatigue you need lots of sleep time shifting because your body is purging lots of energy your body is working hard to purging the old energy that no longer serves you and then transmute its energy into more light being so imagine that each cell of you is experiencing awakening that's why you feel such a fatigue like extreme intense energy because you are experiencing that huge transition just like the collective consciousness that is happening right now but it's happening within your body within your entire body from head to toe it's an unseen process so you need extra awareness for that but what I mean by awareness is not about analytical thing but more about witnessing yourself witnessing what's the transition that is happening with your body inside your body inside your mental through your emotion allow higher self to guide you because higher self knows your need personally individually the symptoms can be different for each person but overall there are similar symptoms the point is still similar but there can be different symptoms that appears for each person some people can experience a lot of sleep or oversleep just what I experienced another people can experience more insomnia hard to sleep during this period and other people feel the physical symptoms such as spiritual flu or sudden flu that you might don't even know where it come from it just suddenly happened without symptoms or without some unusual pattern that you did before so you can easily notice there is something different there is something unusual and you might feel like there's something wrong within you you might also feel the hidden or more sensitivity around your third eye and crown chakra because you need a lot of processing data or information into wisdom intuitive thought you are processing lots of high vibrational information inside your brain through your brain so your brain is like busy to processing higher data from higher dimensions because you just don't know it through your ringing ears through your hidden hidden crown chakra third eye chakra you might experience blurred vision around the third eye chakra it can be flu it can be blurred vision it can be headache but intense headache which something that 
oh you feel like something intense going on around this area around your forehead area that's why your entire body including your brain including all your physical systems are calling you for urge to rest to relax your brain your physical body is already busy is already working hard for processing all of this so be kinder to yourself give yourself time to process all of that and what i highly highly recommend to you to do on this period when you when you are experiencing this period is to meditate if you have energy to do so and what i mean by meditation is if you feel like you don't have energy to just sit in calm then allow yourself to just be because meditation the point of the essence of meditation is state of being remember state of consciousness so just allow yourself although you are although you are fully rest your physical body but you are position yourself as a listener to the universe by relax yourself and when you are relaxed you automatically open and freeing your mind and let it be the field of flow state so you can download higher information that is meant to flow through you and then the next tips of course these three are rest relax and release the rest is to give your physical body time and space to just be it's okay to relax it's okay to just rest although you feel like oh i have an urge to work the point is you can take time for yourself to just simply be it's okay to be vulnerable to be transparent with yourself to embrace whatever that you experience that you are going through and then relax when you relax you know you are in a flow state you allow your parasympathetic nervous system you allow your nervous system to be more calm so they can work mindfully consciously and then it helps a lot because your body listening to your mind and your mind also listening to your body so when you can integrate them both you can give the proper need for them which is more mindfulness more calm more relaxed you allow them to move easily effortlessly in ease 3R is so important because your body is transitioning from physical body or matter into light body or quantum. There's the expansion of energy inside you. It feels like you break free from illusion of separation, illusion of limitation. So you can see things as it is because you are in a state of oneness, one with the divine and the next thing that also important to do during this period is to listen to your body your body will tell you what it needs such as drink more water because you need lots of energy because you are not only energy you are also the water the conductor of the electrical energy water is so important during this period remember that you are also being in mother womb with full of water because when water meet electrical light then you know something great is going to happen other than drink water is to eat light food as possible as you can this doesn't mean you are extremely transitioned into a vegan or an intermediate thing fasting like simultaneously it's okay if you can but if you still learn about conscious eating so take it slow the point is eat light food as possible as you can such as fruit and vegetables there is no junk food or non chemical process because the nutrition of light food is what going to help your energy is going to help the process of your transition into your light body simply because junk food and chemical foods have going through lots of process that 
eliminates the sun and they usually only focus on serve the ego rather than search our soul i'm going to share more details about this in the next episodes about conscious eating listen to your body whatever that it needs maybe i feel like i need more vegetables i need more food juice rather than drink cola rather than drink something that is full of sugar so listen to your body your body will naturally guide you as it transitioning into a lighter state of consciousness make sure you activate your body awareness because your body is constantly communicating with you especially during this period and if you feel need movement it's okay to give it movement but i recommend to find a movement that less force because the force of your body is already heavy it's already weight so i highly recommend to do yoga especially yin yoga more focus on release letting go what no longer serves you so it helps a lot for your situation and if you feel called to listen to music listen to the meditational music the meditational sound that you know the frequency the details of the frequency so you can tune into the specific healing so when you enjoy the music at the same time you also do the healing work through the frequency of that sound from 369 hertz 582 hertz and so much more and in each hertz in each frequency there are certain purpose it will work at subconscious level which is your entire body is your subconscious mind so it's very helpful it's very good for help you during this transition so yeah that's all about ascension most of people think like oh ascension is like certain characteristics such as jesus or moses that can raise their body into heaven but the truth is heaven is state of consciousness ascension is the ascension of consciousness this transition from this physical body into light body through experiencing this light body you can experience oneness self mastery you become more godlike you no longer see from the frog eye or from the human eye level but you see from the bird eye from the perspective of higher selves or the divine rather than our egoic state of consciousness the more you ascend the more you expand so that's all that i want to share in this episode i hope this video helpful for you especially if you're also going through this in this collective period i found a lot of souls also experiencing the same and if you have any question you can kindly put in a comment below or you can find me on any social media available link down below see you again on my next episode still with me cindy Acho. thank you for spending time with me sending my love light and healing energy freedom and inner peace to you and your beloved ones stay healthy abundance and infinite as you are love you